saying with yeah. you saying with my mom. I sure do. With Fred. And I was the little girl watching them sing and looking at them because my mother would threaten Now, us. wait a minute. Hold on. Because, see, now you're good at it in your thoughts. Yes, I'm good at it in my thoughts. So that means Brother Darren has to be pretty uh, mature. Oh, I just turned 42. I don't look it, so I don't care. I'm 42. Uh, 42. Uh, 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 yeah, he was young when he was, when he was in This is when oh, Fred okay, had okay, his okay. choir. He, yeah. he first yeah. started his choir. You don't look right. 42. I know. Sorry. Listen here, I'm 42. I feel it, though, sometimes. Oh, no, well, I don't. <laughs> well, let's not talk about that, how we feel, okay? Let's not go there. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me, you know, I'm just being honest. Mm. But, you know, those, those experiences that you said shaped um, you as, as, a, as a, uh, an independent artist now. Absolutely. What is the road to becoming an independent artist? What has that been like? Well, the road to becoming an independent artist really has a lot of uh, downs. It's, it's ups, but it's downs. Because, I mean, as you know now, music is so saturated with so many different people yeah. who are trying to do it. And that's that's not a problem, you know, because if you have a desire to sing and you really want to, you know, use your gift, you know, to, um, especially in the gospel realm, to inspire people, to encourage people, then go for it. But, you know, um, just, you know, in terms of your question, my experience, it's just been, it's been life-changing, really, to be honest with you, because, I mean, uh, you have to understand the work ethic, I think, mm -hmm. is the thing behind it. Mm -hmm. It's it's constant. It's not yes. anything that you can just sit back and just kind of hope that it happens. Like, back in the day, you know, people hear you saying, okay, I'm going to give you a record deal. No, no. Like no, 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 no. Not mm -hmm. anymore. You know, you got to get out there. You got to pound the payment. You got to hit the streets. You got to make calls. You got to send emails. You got to promote yourself, market yourself, and then just, you know, just, you know, trust in the Lord, you know, from there. You know, that's what I'm doing. My experience has just been, it's been great, but it's been, it's been something else too. So, you, you know, what I want to know, um, because I think one thing that a lot of newbies are dealing with now is understanding how important it is to be consistent and how important it is to keep moving and keep pushing. Especially because a lot of times, you know, when you first start off as an artist, you experience a lot of no's. You experience a lot of hold on, a lot of shelving for those of us who have been with labels. And so you can get discouraged easily. So why is it so important? Because one thing you just said is that you didn't just start doing this. And so you're looking to release the album in the spring and people may be like, wow, there, it's taking you a long time to release the album. You should have been did this. And so explain timing, because timing is everything and being patient in this thing. Absolutely. I mean, I, like you said, it's it's persistence. Um, you have to be persistent. You have to be. Um, you have to believe in yourself. I think is the main one of the main things. Um, believing in what God has called you to do. Believing in your gift. Uh, and the Bible says that your gift will what make room for you. So you know, once once you do that, once you have those different aspects, you trust and believe in God. You know, of course, you you're in His Word. You know, you just you seeking Him. You know, the Bible says all these things will be added. Yeah. You know, once you seek Him first. So, um, you know, for me, for me, just to try to even answer your question further, you know, all I all I did and all I'm doing now is just continue to, uh, you know. I mean, just just keep going, you know. So, I thought you was that. No. Yeah. So yeah, definitely. That's just awesome. Keep going. Okay. I think it's really important because, like I said, I think a lot of people they get very discouraged in this industry. You know, they they get discouraged because you know maybe they're not being played on the radio, or right. they get discouraged because maybe they did not get the hit record, you know, right off the bat, or. People aren't talking about them. They're not a household name, and they've been singing for seven years. It takes time. And, you know, another thing is, what do you think about this? Because I'm a firm believer that everybody's not meant to be a household name. Right. Everybody's not meant to tour the world and sing. But that doesn't mean that they're not meant to record. Or it doesn't mean that they're not meant to be the best local artist they can be. Some people are helping a lot of people to get saved within their local church. Absolutely. They have a hole in the wall uh, on the corner, you know, that used to be a liquor store that they unconverted. And they, you know, people are getting saved every week. People are being set free and delivered, ushered into the presence of God through their praise and worship every week. And you got folks that are touring around doing arenas and people leaving out words and how they came in. Why is that important that people are content with who God called them to be there? 
Great question. Thank you, uh, uh, Pastor Ron, Ron Todd, for that question because I was ready to answer it uh, 20 minutes ago. Um, somebody told me this, uh, a great friend of mine, uh, Pastor Claude Bevere out of Adrian, Michigan, uh, he said this, you have enough to make a difference. Yeah. Wow. You may not be Fred, yeah. you may not be Israel, you may mm -hmm. not be Ty, and that's for everybody in here. Yeah. You don't have to be T.D. Jakes, but God has given you enough, he's given me enough, he's given everybody in this room enough to make a difference in someone's life. It could be somebody on the street corner, wherever you are, at the gas station, mm -hmm. wherever it is. And, you know, whenever you're speaking to them as God leads you, as he gives you the word to give them, you can change their life right there on the spot. <laughs> all I want to do is have a solo in the choir. Right, right. That's all. Right, right. I mean, <laughs> well, yeah, you know, within your own city. You know, See, you can, you can, you can I, I don't know. Make a difference. <laughs> what are you saying? You don't know? I, wait a minute. Are you saying you don't know to me that I should have a solo in the <laughs> Are you saying for me to stay in the background? I'm just asking, Ron. Who, who told you you could sing a solo? I was just, I said I would like to. You oh. sang but you could sing. I don't know. I what you <laughs> talking about? I think Ooh. we should have her do something right now. Oh. Go ahead, let's see what you got. <laughs> oh, you know she. You know who uh, she reminds me of? Oh, oh. You have a, that's lovely. It actually, <laughs> that, 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 what you did reminds me of like Michelet. Ah, mm -hmm. Do it again. I, I, when I record my next album, I don't album, remember, but I do another I, I, I gotta have, I gotta have Miss Sammy come in the studio when I do my next. When I do my next project, can you? You what? I, what can you? you? I, can you? For I, real? If you can, oh my God. please. I'll call you. You think? Do that. I'm gonna do that. Oh. Give me your. Make sure you give me your number. Don't give me oh, your you use my number backwards and forwards. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. You know. Uh, I see you, Ron. I need your zip call. All right. Away. How about this? Before we play, mighty mighty, can you? Listen, as a matter of fact, I know what song I want you to sing. Can oh, you bro, please, I have no voice, Ron, please don't do that to me. Can you please do a little bit of His Eyes is on the Spirit? This guy, oh, this guy does right the right most here. amazing I rendition of this. I just have, have no voice. Oh my God. Here we go. Why should I feel discouraged? And why should the shadows come? Why should my heart feel lonely and long for heaven and home when Jesus is he there? My portion, it's all right. It's all right. a constant friend is he. His eye is on oh, the sparrow, yeah, yeah. and I know He watches over me. I sing. Come on, this now. is my part here. Come on, because hey, give him a little background. I'm huh? happy. Uh, he don't need no help. <laughs> And I sing yeah. Yeah. because I'm free. His eye is on the sparrow. And I know he watches over me. Well, I'm going to stay in the background. Woo! That was something. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. I just had to forget about that my voice. Awesome. And just yes. Goodness. Hallelujah. Come Listen, when I tell you, I just, I heard the, I just, mm. I just, I heard the worship just continue right from there. You could have just kept on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's, oh. that's what I do. My That's my God. My God. Mm. Hallelujah. That was beautiful. See, when, when, See this is that going to stay right in the background. Don't worry about it. Oh, Lord. Say, all is well. <laughs> all is well. You know? All well, is well. Well, listen, I want to hear more of this good here singing. This good, this good here singing. Come this on good, now. This good singing. Good singing. This here good singing. Mm -hmm. Here is Darren Patterson. Uh, we're going to play, actually, his uh, new single in just a little bit. Uh, but if you haven't already, make sure you go to all digital outlets and get his uh, singles. Please, Come on, I love get you forever it now. and mighty, mighty. 
uh, you can get it wherever music is sold online. So you can go to Google Play, you can go to CD Baby, yes, uh, you can go to iTunes, Amazon.com, uh, wherever they sell music online, you can go. As a matter of fact, Gary, if you could just lead us in the worship real quick, just a few more bars. I'm sorry, because I, 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 I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm happy and I sing because he made me free. His eye is on the sparrow. And I know He watches. I know my God watches. I'm so glad. I know He watches over me. Hallelujah. 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 He's a mighty God. Redeemer, way maker. Wherever you are in your life, just trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. He'll make a way out of nowhere. He moves mountains. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Somebody ought to just lift your hands right there and Thank just begin Lord. to give God glory. Amen. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. Even as we're on the radio show, Hallelujah, we can never move fast when we can't give God some praise. That's right. Thank when we can't Jesus. honor the Lord. Hallelujah. The Hallelujah. King of kings, Hallelujah. the Lord of lords, he's worthy yes, Lord. of all the adoration. He's worthy of the praise. Yes. Come on, somebody just speak well of him right now. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. God, you're a wonderful Savior. So Almighty God. God. There's Almighty nobody Jesus. like you. Nobody. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. And not only that, he is mighty. Hmm. He is mighty. Uh, speaking of mighty, here is Darren Patterson.